The upcoming Synod of Bishops will be unique compared to previous synods. The Synod will see a much broader participation in order to confront the challenges faced by families. Cardinal Lorenzo Valdiseri, the Secretary General of the Synod of Bishops, outlined the schedule in the coming weeks. The two-week meeting will not only see the participation of 191 synodal fathers consisting of cardinals, archbishops, and patriarchs. It would also consist of experts and families within the church. Since it is an assembly that will deal with the family, particular attention will be given to married couples, parents, and heads of families. There are a total of 12 couples who will participate. Also, among the experts will be present a married couple. Technology will play an important role in keeping the world informed on what will be discussed in the Synod. Vatican spokesman Father Federico Lombardi said that news from the Synod Hall will be live-tweeted from the press office's Twitter account. There will also be daily reports from key players within the Synod of Bishops. There will also be a series of audio and video interviews with the Fathers that will take place throughout these days in the atrium of the Synod Hall. Salt and Light Television, Vatican Radio, and technicians from Rome Reports will help us. Cardinal Valdiseri informed journalists that the Synod will conclude with the beatification of Pope Paul VI on October 19th. He noted the importance of this pontiff, especially in this upcoming Synod. This beatification, in the context of this Synod, constitutes an important sign of collegiality because this great pontiff of the 20th century not only guided the conclusion of the Second Vatican Council, but he also instituted the Synod of Bishops. The work of the bishops will be accompanied by the prayers of the faithful. Throughout the Synod, a cardinal or bishop will celebrate a Mass for the family at the Basilica of St. Mary Major every evening. The relics of saints and blesseds, known for their sanctity and family life, will be present at the Basilica. Among them are the relics of Blessed Marie Azale Guerin and Louise Martin, along with those of their daughter, St. Therese of Lisieux.